Well, hi BCC, we are Daniel and Nikki, and today is day 16 of the Advent devotional series, and today we are looking at the wrapping of gifts. Now, why do we wrap gifts? Well, it's to conceal what's inside, isn't it? But as we're going to see today, Jesus being wrapped didn't, wasn't for concealing, but to reveal who he came to be. Today's scripture is from Luke chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 4 to 7, and then also 10 to 12, and it reads... So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And then we jump to the shepherds where the angel of the Lord visits the shepherds. And in verse 10, it says, but the angels said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. So as we've read, there's a couple of key points that we can see that relate to these strips of cloth. And depending on the version that you read, that it might refer to strips of cloth or swaddling clothes. And it might be something that we can easily read over, but actually there's great detail and that's meant to be there. As we know, swaddling has been common practice for many, many years, hasn't it? Babies all through time have been swaddled by their parents to keep them safe, to keep them warm and to keep them secure. But what made this swaddling different? So did you know that the priests, when they ministered in the temple of God, they had special priestly garments and these were made holy to God. And as such, they didn't just throw them away afterwards, but they actually cut them into strips of cloths. And these cloths were used for three purposes. Firstly, they were used as the wick in the menorah that they burned the candles with. Secondly, they were used um, as to wrap the Torah, to protect the Torah, the word of God. And thirdly, they were used to wrap and protect sacrificial lambs. Another did you know? Did you know that Bethlehem Ephrata, referred to in Micah 5 verse 2, is referring to a specific agricultural area, David's field, which is just to the east of Bethlehem. And it was in this field that the lambs were prepared for sacrifice. The lambs there were raised specifically for sacrifice in the temple, sacrificial lambs. And the shepherds there weren't just any shepherds, they were Levitical shepherds who were tasked with raising these lambs destined for sacrifice. So the fact that the angel of the Lord came to these shepherds and it mentioned about the sign to them that this lamb would be, uh, that Jesus would be wrapped in swaddling clothes was of great significance to them. And so we can also think about what sheep were these shepherds raising? And as Nikki said, these sheep were destined to be the sacrificial lambs that were offered unto God as an atoning sacrifice for the people of Israel's sins. The, the sheep were chosen because they were spotless. They were perfect. They were without blemish, as the word of God said they had to be. And so once a lamb had been chosen, they would take the strips of cloth and they would wrap the lambs in them. They would swaddle the lambs to protect them so that on their journey to the temple, they would still not get any damage upon them. Isn't that amazing, hey? These lambs destined for sacrifice were swaddled to keep them protected and without spot, wrinkle or blemish. And um, does that remind you of something else? As we've seen and we wanted to share with you guys, every detail in the word of God is significant, isn't it? The greatest gift ever given to mankind, our Lord Jesus, was wrapped in these swaddling cloths, destined to be sacrificed. And as John the Baptist proclaimed, Yeshua, Jesus, the atoning Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world. Amen. We say praise God and thank you for sending Jesus, the atoning Lamb of God. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. Be, Be blessed.